Welcome, welcome, welcome. We back again, once again, time and time again. And you wanted it. I asked and I got the answer. Y'all wanna see the losses. <laughs> but this is not a good period in my trading. I remember this vividly. It was like almost everything I was throwing out was a loss. And I think that there was a test. So I'm one of those signs people. I think you get tested just to see if what you're going through is really what you want. So this was an instance in losing, 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 losing. Learned a new strategy. It was working, it's working before, now I'm using it and now I'm losing. It seems like everything that I call out, every time I apply the strategies, I get a loss. Most traders, here's the test. Do you stick with it? Because you're gonna have ups and downs in every strategy. There's gonna be winning periods and there's gonna be losing periods. This happened to be a losing period. I have never experienced it before because I was in a cycle of doom so i decided to stick this one out i'm glad that i did but instead of what most traders will do is when they are going through a losing period they ditch the strategy they have to go look for a new one only to fall into that cycle again win some trades they start losing ditch the strategy go look for a new one win some trades start losing ditch the strategy and every time they ditch the strategy it's right before the next win streak would happen so we're gonna pick up right where we left off oh also i will be live streaming monday wednesdays and fridays i'm gonna try to do it around March market close so that'll be around 5 30 to 6 30 eastern standard time it will just be a little forecast of what i'm looking for in the market mainly the directions of where i want to see the pairs go it will be a full market breakdown so i will do all the pairs it's going to be pretty long it'll probably take me about 40 45 minutes to go through all the pairs and that's on the quick time frames just going through them really briefly just hinting at what i'm looking for what i'm seeing yeah come check it out come kick it with your boy we'll be on there for a little minute monday wednesdays fridays and it instance like this week this was labor day weekend or labor day week i'll always keep you updated but yeah i want to throw that out there as well make sure you're subscribed hit that bell notification so now let's get into it where did we leave off we left off on nzd cad that one went to the stop loss as well what did we have up next coming in we had nzd chf so i'm going to try to go through these there were a few nzd chf i was looking for the sale on this and what happened price ended up going straight to the stop loss man i'm telling you this trade it looked ideal we had a nice break of structure to the downside it was coming up right at previous structure support now acting as resistance or should have acted as resistance but it did not and it just failed to uh respect that area and continue to the upside i mean it was just a quick little day trade i was looking for nothing too crazy it was a four r risk to reward ratio so yeah that was nice wasn't nice but a nice setup just didn't play out nicely nzd chf stop loss hit 18 pips minus one r so if we're just looking back let's just briefly go through it real quick we'll just go off from from right here so we're minus one r minus two r we'll go from last video as well minus two r where are we where are we where are we i'm looking at aud usd in the next 30 minutes so once again, we're just going through my trading journal, looking at AUD USD in the next 30 minutes. AUD USD came around, came up popping. Let's look at that. I was looking at AUD USD. This was another day trade. So nothing too crazy. Looking for a nice about 30 pips, 29 and a half pips. But we're here on AUD USD once again. We had a nice little setup. We wanted to see the next candles fill in the wick. Previous structure support. Wanted to see it active support once again. It did respect that area, but then price came on to the stop loss so it was not really looking good and on top of that not only did it hit the stop loss it barely nicked the stop loss and then exploded to the upside straight to the take profit one candle bow look at that heated i was mad i was real mad big mad but yeah daily price close below the structure i don't know what that was about aud usd stop loss hit minus 14.5 pips minus one r so we're down minus three r rough week so far it happens and notice there's not too many trades like i've said before pra trying to practice what i preach or preach what i practice because i think they are good characteristics to have as a trader i'm not trying to over trade these are two to three trades a week it's just not playing out so rough week as you can see took the l's as well aud usd three pips stopped this out then exploded to the upside that was tough <laughs> All right, we're gonna re-add NZD CAD as well. So remember in the beginning, we're down 3R. The first loss was NZD CAD. Or did I miss one? Did I miss USD, C, and H? Oh, NZD CAD, here it is. NZD CAD. So we took this L, ended up taking the L over here. Price went up, did that in the previous video. Price came up, went straight to the stop loss. Once again, we're gonna re-add it. Looks like a little better entry. Got a little lower entry so we could get our stop loss protected below the structure. Once again, uh, same take profit, just about wanted to see the same things over and over and then 
of course, get triggered in on this one. It goes to the stop loss. I don't know if this one ends up playing out. No. So minus 4R. We're minus 4R. Minus 4R. What do we have up next? Yeah, they hitting me too. Smacking me. They all smacking. But yeah, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I'm going to get this net. Stop. <laughs> Huh. USD C and H. Oh, this was the watch list. Running through these a little bit quicker too because it starts getting better. I love going back through this journal and seeing the progressions that I've made. So then I started posting the watch list. So I started showing and telling everybody who wanted to see these are the trades that I'm looking for. On that list was USDC and H. It was starting to set up. My broker doesn't offer this pair, so I cannot take the trade, but it follows the strategy rules. It's valid to take. E. Yeah. Eh. Another one. Another one. Let's look at the setup once again. CHFJPY. But USDC and H. I wanted to see the move to the upside. What happens? Bow! Two candles. Straight to the stop loss. Plays around. Explodes to the upside. Then this is probably another re-entry. Should have been looking for. Or somewhere over in here. Well, another setup for this take profit to be met. Because it did go ahead and hit the take profit. I'm sure the rules probably re-satisfied themselves as well. But I was not on it. I was like, man, I did nah. Nah, it ain't working. So we got to move on. If at first you don't succeed. USDC and H. Then what do we have? CA. CHFJPY, rules to be satisfied, CHFJPY, CHF buy limit, have a Zoom meeting, remove the order of CHFJPY. Okay, so wait, we gotta go back. See, USDC and H, where are we at? Minus 4R, minus 5R, minus 5R, USDC and H, minus 5R, CHFJPY, remove the order, have the Zoom meeting, you know what I'm saying? Nothing major, it's just a chance to go over some charts, ask some questions, had to, you know, like, ah. Get back. <clears throat> We've been on a little minus 5R, man. What's up? Had a little Zoom meeting. Sent out the watch list once again. What do we have? USDCHF. USDCHF was setting up perfect. Perfectly. Perfectly. USDC and H. CHF JPY. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to go over too. US <laughs> CHF JPY. Good thing we removed the order because that was <laughs> straight to stop loss as well. Dang, that was not. It was. It was. It was yeah. This was. Was not it this was not it so yeah that one was straight to stop loss as well did end up going to take profit eventually but it was not it man so i can get up out of there chf jpy okay usd chf now in this one was down minus 5r and this quick little time span of probably like two weeks. Down minus 5R. This was a nice little day trade for 2R. My day trades are usually 2R. Swing trades usually 3R. So real nice and easy break above structure after it was an overextended move. Just want to see a nice and easy retracement before we had trend continuation. So nothing too crazy. Same thing. And if we continue going, you can see we had structure up in here. We had structure resistance up in here. Came into that area. Impulse to the downside. Had the retracement. Want to see the retracement come back to previous structure support now turn resistance right in this area just like in the previous videos man it was the same strategy as the previous video so i really say what i'm showing y'all on here i really do that i really be out here i'm not just giving y'all some stuff just to just to throw fillers out there man i'm really speaking the truth so we wanted to see the retracement back up to this area waited for structure to change structure started to break to the upside creating higher highs and higher lows bullish structure got in got a nice and easy what is that 59 pips 69 pips nice and easy 69 pips take profit for 2r risk to reward so we were down 5r we made back two of those now we down three ended up getting a winner whoo all right it's not all bad Got a little winner. Now we down minus 3R. USDCHF running 25 pips. Make it risk free. A uh, Euro JPY. Ooh, FOMC in about 50 minutes too. Mm. Make sure you are prepared and not over leveraged. There will always be another trade. And that is something that I can't stress enough. There will always be another trade. So no matter what, if you miss a trade, you take the trade, you lose a trade, you win a trade, you hate a trade, you like a trade, there's always going to be another trade. So remember that and take that with you. Then we have the buy limit on Euro JPY. Let's go to Euro JPY one time. That was not good. Had a little buy limit on Euro JPY. I was looking for a nice 2.2R again. Probably a little a little day trade looking for it to come back to some retracement areas. Nice and easy setup. Nice and easy setup. If we look at it from the daily, I'm sure it was pushing to the downside. Want to see the market come back, retest previous structure yet to be retested. Can expect to be expected if it makes it up there, but it did not. It retested some of these areas down in here instead of coming all the way back and then went straight to the stop loss. That was not. So another one R. So remember when we lose, we're losing one. When we win, 
We went in two or three. The power of risk to reward is the holy grail. That is it, that's the secret, that's the code, is you have to have good risk to rewards. And not only that, you have to have consistent risk to rewards and consistent risks. You can't be risking, say you're risking 1% on one trade and 8% on another trade and you lose the 8% trade, but win the 1% trade for 2R, 3R. So you win 3R, you win 3%, but you lost 8%. No, if you have a consistent 1% and you lose the 1R and you win the other 1R trade for 3R, now you're up 2R. Consistent risks, consistent uh, risk to rewards as well. So you know what you're getting is easy to back test as well. But yeah, Euro JPY, down. We're back to minus 4R. USD Turkish Lira. What do we have on USD Turkish Lira? USD Turkish Lira, we wanted to see the move to the upside. USD Turkish Lira, we wanted to see the move to the upside coming in from the one hour time frame. So a nice and easy day trade. Want to see it come back to previous structure yet to be retested. Can expect to be respected after we had a break of structure down in here. We wanted to see the move back up to the upside after the impulse down. So if we drop to the one hour time frame, uh, we could see that we started to get the move and was able to go risk free. So, whew, I bet. I know we could go risk free, but unfortunately, as you can see, came back to stop loss or came back to the entry at break even stopping us out usd chf hit for 69 pips 2r usd turkish lira is running 500 pips make it risk free euro jpy hit the stop loss putting us back at minus 4r and i didn't even know that this was in there and i just had that rant that tangent and this is exactly the same thing that i just ranted about but yeah it says what did i say the holy grail in trading is risk management risk to reward slash risk to reward didn't i just say that i know myself man i know I, mm, I know myself, but yeah, the only way to survive is to have proper risk management. That means knowing how much you're risking at all times and risking the same every time. If I didn't just say that word for word, not word for word, I didn't. But if I didn't just say that exact same thing in just a couple different words in a little rant and I didn't even know that this was in here. Now mind you, if you change your risk on how you feel about a trade, you will blow your account every time. If you think a trade is perfect, you can't miss, you're gonna risk it all, that's the one that loses. You think, see a trade that may play out, let me just throw a little bit on it just because I wanna be a part of the opportunity goes on to be perfect you're kicking yourself like why didn't i risk more on that trade so yeah if we risk the same every single time you good if you change your risk on how you feel about a trade you'll blow your account every time it's what makes days like today where you win one and you lose one and you're still positive on the day and it's even better because you end the day positive but we also have another one running risk free which is that usd turkish lira trade and that's the cherry on top because now on the day we can only come out positive anywhere from positive one r excuse me because if that other one comes back and hits us out at break even we'll have won that 2r trade and lost 1r so we'll be up 1r or we'll come out positive 4r because if that usd turkish lira trade hits i think it was a 3r setup but with the usd chf win it covers one of the losses from last week even though euro jpy failed so we were down even though we took a loss we made 2r so it covered one of the previous losses and covered the loss that we took for the day keep that in mind proper risk management is the holy grail that's what they mean when they say proper risk management as well risk to reward and the same risk every single time blah 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 uh this will probably be the last time i send i figure you all understand now that i'm not just sending out trades i don't take and actually follow my strategy nothing new on the watch list we will continue to run usd turkish lira risk free and then we had once it came back and stopped this out at break even we then had another opportunity. Like I said, once we traded, day traded on the retracement, I'm looking for the continuation and the impulse to the downside. So the most common pattern in the market is what? Impulse, a retracement, and another impulse. Either way, to the upside or to the downside. And if you can take advantage of both the retracement and the impulse, you'll be able to trade every pair all the time. So that's what we did. Traded it up, ended up getting stopped out break even. Then it set it up perfectly for a, a trade to the downside to swing trade. Nice and easy 3R trade. What Happened, it played around and went on to take profit and didn't give us a proper entry so we'll have a zoom meeting around one let's have a quick zoom meeting blah blah blah, blah. sell order on usd turkish lever removed prices reached the equal low so we were no longer looking for it and that is where we pick up to what I have in store coming forward. So then, like I said, I was getting better and better and better. And it's nice to see or have this journal to see my progression. So I went from just calling out trades 
just a bunch of trades, calling out trades that actually match the strategies. Then I'm starting to put the watch list in the trades for the people or watch list in the chat and the signals so people can actually follow along and understand to learn with the strategies. And now I'm starting to do video form of that. So instead of just sending a picture, I'm starting to do it on video, sending it out. And that's where we're gonna pick up from here. So I'll probably be compiling these or just looking at these and we'll just follow along day by day and see how it goes. So there's literally no way I could fake this. this is even more for me to be transparent or real and open is because somebody could say you can go back and delete some of the telegram chats and act like you never lost but if i have video proof of me talking about the trades that we're in or taking there's no way i can go back and remove those sections out of the video without it looking weird so i'm not going to do that so you'll see the wins the losses and everything moving forward but just remember we're minus four r right now this is a horrible time that's where i'm gonna end this video where we at right around 20 minutes i'm not trying to make it too long but yeah We'll pick right up and I'll probably be doing a video on just watching and going back and looking at me saying how we're going to attack the markets and everything. I just want to be open and transparent because this is how you're supposed to trade professionally. You're supposed to take take it serious, actually document your trades, go back, review them, uh, see where you could get better, see your progressions that you could make and actually act on them. So it's not just uh, enough to come back and look and see where you could improve. You have to actually take the steps to get better and improve. That's really much it, man. I'm not trying to take up too much of your time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off. So minus 4R, remember that. Remember, live streams Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right around market close. So around 5.30 to 6.30, sometime in there, I'll be coming on. Just giving a little update of what I see in the market. Check that out. Make sure you're subscribed. Turn the post notifications on so you do get updated when I do go live or post another video like this where you can get some real education and see that it's not all glitz and glamour. Sometimes you hit a little rough patch, man. But yeah, that's it, man. Other than that, I hope you have a profitable day on and off the charts and until next time